Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is a waning crescent moon under the astrological sign of Virgo. This reading is for Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Libra. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what is the message for Libra under this waning crescent moon for the end of October, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, what is the message for Libra? Oh, hey Libra, how are you? I hope everything has been great since the last time. Thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you who have joined, please hit the like button if you hear something. And for those of you who haven't joined, subscribe if you hear something that you can resonate with. All right, what's the message for Libra? Let's see, and what's the order? Okay. Mm, okay. Libra, the end of October. So the first card is nothing will come of this situation, void course, okay? And this is a past energy. So some of you, I don't also don't know where you are in this reading. Um, energy can be reversed. We could talk, be talking about somebody you're dealing with, but it does impact you in some way. Mm. So past energy, nothing will come of something that happens in the past. If you're in the past, it's like you're being told to avoid course. This is a waste of energy. As you come out of this energy releasing what no longer serves you, you're going to be moving towards your north node, which is your calling, which is what towards what you're supposed to be doing how you're supposed to be aligning in the future. Some of you, Libra, may feel uncomfortable with this because it forces you to do something out of the norm. But the energy is going to be so strong, it has a momentum of its own. And you're going to be caught up in this energy, Libra. You're going to be just going with it. You know why? Because it feels good. Because it's not doing any harm. Because it's moving you away from this voided situation. Because it's something new. So you're just paying attention. You know, um, you're gliding. You see how the birds are gliding over the mountains up in the sky. It's just, you're comfortable. You're comfortable. Yeah, is it uncomfortable? Sure, anything new is uncomfortable at first, but as long as it's not hurting you, you kind of go with it. So this energy is like gaining momentum towards the end of October, and Spirit is saying just continue to glide. Um, have faith in your dreams. <clears throat> waxing crescent moon even though this is a waning crescent moon this is a time where i think you begin to have faith yeah never give up hope right mm -hmm. tell me about nothing will come of this situation the high priestess whoa so the High Priestess is the most spiritual card in the deck. This is uh, your intuition, basically. And that's how spirit speaks to you. The direct line of communication is between you and him. So this could have been a spiritual lesson. You received some knowledge, some insight as a result of this relationship. You know, there's never 
a coincidence. So even though nothing will come of this, meaning nothing is supposed to go forward, you still appear with some spiritual insight. Somebody, maybe you gave them some spiritual insight or they gave you. But everything happens for a reason is what I'm trying to say. Especially when the high priestess appears. Libra, the end of October. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And these are major arcanas, okay? So you know how I feel about majors. Majors tell the story. God runs the show. And if you doubt that, come on, look at your own life, right? So, well, you you partake also, but... Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying. The Hierophant is here, which is really... For me, the Hierophant is not really associated with a person. It's more about traditional beliefs and how you were brought up concerning um, it, serious things like your commitment to anything, morals and values and beliefs and the structure of them and also a major arcana. So you have two major arcanas, Libra, the end of October that tell you that nothing's going to come of this situation, probably because of where you two are spiritually or where you are in this situation spiritually. That's not a line. Also, your traditions, your beliefs, your morals are not the same. So, yeah, you're going to be walking away from this, the Eight of Cups. Um, you're going to realize all of this because spirit shows up in a big way. And that's what assists you in getting moving. And then you're stepping out of your comfort zone, heading on to bigger, better things. Some of you are traveling out of the state. Others are, are you of you are just walking away. You're done. You know uh, this has outlived its purpose. Tell me about stepping out of your comfort zone. What's the North Node? Page of Swords. You know, Page of Swords is also uh, a journey, uh, learning. The page is always vying for more information. Tell me more. I need more. I need to see, hear, feel. That's you. And that energy is what allows you to grow. Tell me more. You start off low, but then boom, do you come into yourself? Look at you, Justice. <clears throat> All balance. See, this one step leads you to right where you should be. Your North Node. Your calling. <laughs> I love it. Go ahead, Spirit. So the energy is gaining momentum. No wonder. That's why that's this zone. Like I just felt like I was just floating and going with it. You know, no need to fight this because it's kind of feeling good. And then you appear justice. This is what you've needed. The end of October, you're not fighting it because it's exactly what you've needed. Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands, Reverse. You know, the Knight of Wands upright can be very excitable, adventurous, but kind of aimless. But I don't feel like you're like that anymore because once you come into your power, you have direction. This is the, the sword, um, the Ace of Swords. And it's, it's truth. It's enlightenment. It's awakening. It's a clarity. And we know it's awakening because we saw the High Priestess and the... Hierophant <clears throat> at the beginning. So you've definitely had a spiritual awakening. And I think this night reverse is, um, you know, when we were a child, we did as children. But now that we're adults, we let go of immature things. And, and, and that just allows you to move in such a mm, powerful way. It's like, yeah, you are definitely in your power. You're feeling good. And Nine of Swords. You know, this Nine of Swords energy is because of your comfort zone. Um, some of you get worried. You lose hope along the way, as we all do. Right, Libra? We all lose help. You know, fear creeps in. Satan comes in. Whenever something good is happening, you can believe he's going to show up. 
And so then you question it. You Is this right? Da, 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 da. And Spirit is saying at the very end, in the future, right? As you're gaining momentum, yes, you're going to feel uncomfortable, but don't give up hope. Believe, believe, and it shall be, you know, your thoughts. Those, all those swords are thoughts and they control the outcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do. So have faith, right? Don't hold on to any past residual um, voided energy. Don't lose hope, right? Allow the transformation, get back into the momentum, the feeling, the soaring, right? That the birds were doing. Mm -hmm. All about beliefs and traditions, what you believe it shall be. And so, yeah, you have in the future, just through faith, the ability to stay in this voided situation or to move forward towards the Ace of Cups, which is all about your North Node, you growing, mm. you growing. And this growth brings you right into what you've always wanted, Libra, your dreams. So I see in the future you are confronted with the choice again. And it's controlled by your thoughts. Whoa. Yes, Baron. That's for all of us, right? So we can go two ways. We can hold on to the past, which is death reverse, not allowing the transformation. Or we can move forward into this growth spurt into our calling. Mm. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more about nothing will come of this situation for Libra, the end of October. What's the message? Spirit shows up. The high priestess and the hierophant. All about your spiritual morals, traditions, values. The hierophant. And the reason that nothing's coming of it is because you two are not aligned or you are not aligned with that situation. They're, that's what I said. You are, you're called, obviously, because spirit is moving you, right? So the three of swords, the three of swords cannot align with the high priestess or the hierophant. And that thus you have the eight of cups. And that's why Spirit says nothing will come of this situation. But so those of you who are still dealing with this situation, very soon, very soon, you're going to be walking. Okay? Oh, ah, Spirit just said we don't even need to elaborate on that anymore. Okay? Gosh. All right. Death, because that, didn't I say that? You It's going to end. Right? You know, the cycles of life are really controlled by Holy Spirit. Now you have three major arcanas, four, five. Okay, Libra. So the majors rule the roost and Spirit says this cycle, nothing's coming of it. Void course because it's going to end. The death card shows up, it's going to end. And again, whether you walk away or not, it's going to end. Because when Spirit says it's going to end, it's going to end. When God says it's it, it's done. Mm. Okay. So, am I taking these? I am. Look at that. Death and the chariot. You know, the chariot is all about strategizing. It's qualifying. Step out of your comfort zone. The page of swords. Justice. Um, it's qualifying the fact that you're moving forward, that you have some new ideas, ideals, goals, objectives, and you're learning, you're open. Uh, you don't know everything, but you're still open and that's what you need to be. You also have the King of Pentacles here. So you have the Chariot and the King of Pentacles. I think you're up to seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six majors. Oh, the end of October is about a lot of change, spiritual change. 
change bringing you towards your north north node out of this voided situation towards something that moves you just have faith you know believe and it shall be mm, ten of cups reverse yeah because as you're gaining momentum that's all this fear the nine of swords and the ten of cups emotional upheaval coming to pull you back right and that's what spirit wants you to be aware of. That's why you're being told to have faith in the midst of this upheaval. It's coming. It could be emotional. It's definitely going to occupy your thoughts for a minute, but you can overcome. Here you go, Libra. Show me how he's overcoming. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. There's that choice. These are a lot of cards, spirit. Okay, there are a lot of cards, please. Let me just do this again. Tell me how Libra is overcoming this through faith, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. King of Cups, boom. You have two kings here. You have the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. And I like that, Libra, because you also have justice. Remember, you came into your power. But I see you actually executing as the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Very mature energy, controlling your emotions, um, being resourceful, coming up with this plan, you know, because the chariot doesn't move aimlessly. God always has moves with purpose. When he moves, whatever he's moved, trying to make happen, it happens. So there's always a plan, a strategy. And the King of Pentacles shows up. Quite the person that God would call, too, because he's resourceful. And that's what I see you as in the end of October. The King of Cups, guarding your emotions. That's why Spirit says you, you are in control of your emotions of your thoughts mm -hmm. and your thoughts control your emotions okay i got it omg I'm, i need to stop right there libra okay so why do you need to hold on to hope and faith the king of cups shows up the hangman shows up and then the emperor shows up and this is what i was feeling too when the justice card appear that's you coming into your calling and into your power i felt the power and it, <sighs> you have the emperor the hangman this new perspective this change maybe alignment in knowing that how you feel and how you're moving and what you want is the right way it's like you're on your path Whoa. Okay, spirit. What about love? The end of October for Libra. Give me a quick insight here. Ooh, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And see, this is the steps that are taking you out of your comfort zone. This is what you're being guided to take right now, Libra. You're on the move, child. That's why the King of Pentacles shows up because resources, that's Virgo energy. Okay, Libra? And you're being guided. Yeah, it may be uncomfortable a little bit, but have faith. It's taking you right where you want to go. Towards great love. Not this mediocre, lukewarm stuff, but the real deal. <sighs> Speak, Spirit. He is killing it today. Go ahead. Right. Work on your partnership. So, effort. Effort. I f I'm feeling the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you need to put forward more effort in this area. Um, work on love. Uh, you're being guided to take certain steps concerning love. Yeah. And those steps require some work. Let your friends help you. Ask for support. Wow. What else for Libra, Holy Spirit? Last advice. Tell me. Mm-hmm. The high priestess is here. So listen to your intuition concerning everything, right? The intuition makes no mistakes, child. What? What else, spirit? Libra. Inconsistent. Think about your thoughts, their actions, and routines. 
Are they inconsistent? Does it serve you well on a daily basis? And it doesn't. Your thoughts, your emotions, when you're in that energy, that's just trying to slow you down, to block you, to make you have a lack of faith, to give up, to stay in the past and not move towards the future. You're being guided to take certain steps. And they're going to lead you right to where you want to be. That's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you could identify with what was said. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for your subscription. It means the world to me. And whew, leave me a comment. You know, anything that you leave usually helps everybody. And remain in balance. And I'm so glad that you showed up. I love it when we show up in our own sign, both as Justice and the Emperor. I'm going to leave it there until the next moon phase. Namaste, Libra.